This week on Motorhead Garage, Brian and John learn how to manufacture parts using only water, as well as some tricks on boosting horsepower. But before that, John gets a ride in a modernized version of a vintage vet. Next on Motorhead Garage, presented by Dustless Blasting. garage presented by dustless blasting now we get a lot of cool cars here you know but this one tops the list out of all of them this one come to us from exotic vet concepts and a name says it all it's exotic it's a vet and it's a concept we got bob here from exotic vet concepts bob tell us a little bit about the company and tell us about your dream the vision how this thing happened well i've had a vision to build this car uh, for over 40 years 57 corvette was always my favorite uh, this is what I thought they should have looked like. Uh, we established this corporation solely to build this car, to produce this car. So we're in the market to build and sell these cars. Well, the car's gorgeous. It's immaculate. I mean, the meticulous work that went into it. Tell us about the car. Uh, well, we, we actually own the molds. We build the bodies ourselves. Uh, we buy from a lot of the well-known manufacturers. Uh, it sits on an Art Morrison chassis, uh, Willwood brakes, uh, Chevrolet performance engines. We offer Lingenfelter engines. Uh, we also offer the uh, Mercury racing engines if somebody decides they want to go faster than they can possibly handle. But uh, this has always been my dream car. And during the build, I decided that I had so much work in it, I thought, well, I'm going to make molds of this car and produce them. I didn't want there just to be one. Now tell me about the engine transmission combination in this one. Uh, this is an LS3 from Chevrolet, 430 horsepower, uh, 4L65E transmission, uh, b and shifter. Like I said, it's on an Art Morrison chassis. It's triangulated four bar rear suspension, uh, nine inch strange rear end, uh, Willwood disc brakes all the way around, custom exhaust, Basically, everything on this car is custom made. It's a brand new car. Now, what's really impressive is these ginormous tires, front and rear. What would you do to get them under there, and what's the size of these things? Well, they're, the rims are 18 by 12. Uh, the tires are 335s all the way around. Um, I wanted it to go around the corner. So basically, what I did was I built the chassis with the wheels and tires on it and built the body to fit the chassis so that all the steering clears, everything clears so that there's no interference anywhere but I wanted it to go around the corner. And it'll do that with the rack and oh, pinion, yes. no, no rubbing issues? No rubbing issues at all, and it's fast. Absolutely amazing. Let's take a look at the inside. Now, talk, talk me through the inside here. I mean, you got the seats, everything looks like it come right out of the factory. Well, the seats we order, one of the few things that comes from out of the country. The console's all custom built, the dash is custom built. Uh, we use speed hut gauges because they coincide with the computerization of the engine. They read everything off of the engine. Kenwood stereo system, JL audio, k and filters under the, under the hood for the engine. I'll tell you what, now this car looks phenomenal. I bet it even drives better. So you yes. know what, why don't we strap up? We'll take it for a ride. You stick around and check this out while we strap up. Small engines, a lot of us have a love-hate relationship with those things. They're the pesky little buggers that power a lot of the different aspects of our lives, whether we're talking about maintenance around the house or even stuff like this golf cart that helps us get around. Lenny from Z-Max, this week's Z-Max Minute, we're talking about how Z-Max works in those small, hard-working engines that we live our lives around. Help improve the performance and protect the vital engine parts, whether it's a lawnmower, a chainsaw, a string trimmer, your generator, Z-Max in those components. That's what's going to clean out the carbon deposits, soak into the metal, protect that investment, and be there when you need it. Z-Max can help you with all those small engines. You know, small engines, typically, one thing a lot of people overlook is they normally use a splash-style oiling system, which isn't the greatest in the world. So you need all the lubricity you can get. You need all the help you can get. And with the lubricant soaking itself into the oil, it's not washing off those metal parts. Not washing off those metal parts. And when you store them and you have Z-Max in there, that storage is being protected by the Z-Max. Fuel system as well, right? If I, wanna, if I got my small engine and I'm pulling on this cord 6,000 times, Z-Max is gonna help me work through that. Yeah, you don't want all that gumminess stuck up in there. You wanna clean out the carbon deposits ahead of time, and then that Z-Max will be in there protecting, making sure that things are ready to go when you need it. About a two ounce application, and if you're using the fuel treatment, you know, this bottle's gonna last you a long time. Depending on how often you cut your lawn, probably about a whole <laughs> season. So, Lenny, Thanks for coming in. Yet another great use of ZMAX. And if you need more information on ZMAX, go to ZMAX.com. Come oh, on, man. This thing's a 2017. It rides like a 2017. This is incredible. Tell me about how the field drive. Oh, 
handling is really quick on the steering. 16 to 1 ratio on the rack and pinion. Uh, really tight steering, goes around the corner really nice. Uh, wheel with brakes, stop on a dime. Uh, it's a really a race car with a nice paint job on it. That's exactly what's going on. Now also tell me, you know, can I buy it as a kid? I mean, if I bought a kid, that would take me about 10 years to put together. Yeah, no, we don't sell it in the kid form. We want to control the quality. I don't want to give anybody the opportunity to copy it. Uh, so we, we build them and sell them turnkey as per the customer's request. Uh, we offer General Motors and high performance engine, Lingenfelter engine. We also offer a, the Mercury racing engine, the 32 valve engine. Right. So you can get any amount of horsepower you want. Wow, very cool. Now, like I said, if I had a kid, that would kill me, man. That would take me years. Yeah. How long do I get one of these? Somewhere between six months and nine months once we get into production. All right, let's, all right, let's kick it. Let's see what it feels like. Motorhead Garage, presented by Dustless Blasting, is being brought to you by Electrical Connection, lighting, electrical, and audio for the power sports world. NH Oil Undercoating, the official oil-based rust prevention system. Exalta Coating Systems, we paint winners. And by Dustless Blasting, it's the future of surface preparation. Welcome back to Motorhead Garage presented by Dustless Blasting. If you're in the business of making things, cutting materials of different styles and into different shapes is very important. Multicam has developed a tool that can cut stuff from, I don't know, 10 inches of titanium, the long way, all the way to foam. And they use the same tool to do it. We're talking about copper, steel, aluminum, pretty much any different style of material you can think of. We have Chris from Multicam here. He's gonna take us through the tool and exactly how they perfected the means to cut whatever you need. Well, Chris, I've left the company confines of my table and found this. What am I looking at? You are looking at the Multicam V-Series system. This is our water jet system that many job shops, automotive, performance racing type shops might have in it. And this is our 5 by 10 table as far as the size sheet material that you can put on it. And it's matched with the KMT Triline pump, capable of up to 55,000 PSI. Yeah, that's pretty serious stuff. Now, you're telling me 55,000 PSI, I'm seeing what looks to be aluminum, Gasket material and foam on there. You tell me the same machine is going to cut all three. Absolutely. Why don't you push the button? Let's get started. So we start our pump up, builds the pressure. Yep. We see it go up to 55,000. Wow. It's okay. actually cutting through that gasket material there. You can see it's not traveling slow. That's motoring through the material very fast. At the end of this cut, too, you're going to see very clean cut quality. So it's going to come off of that as a finished product. And again, when we talk about any sort of manufacturing business, this is your time and money and your material. The more cuts you get out of one piece, the less material you're going to waste. And the quicker those cuts are made, the more productive your business is going to be. Absolutely. Absolutely. We talk a lot about different kind of uh, solutions for problems in the world or in the, in the business world, manufacturing world, making stuff world. It doesn't get any more diverse and, or versatile rather than being able to cut these three different types of things as just three examples. I mean, anything you can right. think of, you can cut. Anything you can think of. Thick, thin, hard, soft. If it's a material that you've got in your shop, we can cut it on this piece of equipment. So you've cut out like a simulated head gasket or something it looks like over there. Right, yeah, so we can pull it right off the table. Okay. So right there. Okay, that is amazing. And that took a grand total of like, I don't know, 20 seconds. 20 it seconds, that it's long. done. It comes off that material, off the table, done. You see the edge quality, it's perfect. It's a finished Rinse product. Rinse that off, it's a finished product. Amazing stuff. And, you know, we're using water, but what, what else, what are, what are we using in the water? Actually, on the gasket material, because it's a softer material, it's water only. Okay. So it's just pure water. Wow. Cutting through that. Now, as we go to something harder, you're actually going to introduce a garnet. That's what you see in the little okay. tub up top. Okay. 
And then as you go really thicker, you need more productivity, you would go to a higher PSI. We actually have systems through KMT that offer all the way up to 90,000 PSI. And my understanding is PSI is kind of like horsepower in a car. The more, the more PSI similar. you get, the more power you have. The more power you got to go fast. It, de it defines how fast you can go, for sure. So we can make the same things with both machines, but with 90,000 PSI, I'm gonna make that same item quicker. Absolutely, absolutely, very versatile. So now we'll see how this baby handles aluminum, which, well, to me, it looks like it handles it pretty well. Yeah, it's cutting right through it. Check it out. Well, Chris, the finished product, you know, this really does kind of prove, I'm thinking that's a gauge clutch. You have to pull it out of there so I can see it. But yes, sir. Obviously a cold style technology because you're not screaming and yelling grabbing this thing, right? No, no, definitely not. Let's get a little bit of that off there. But yeah, beautiful. Comes off the table, ready to use. There's your gauge cluster. No Vegan. discoloration, it's not distorted. I mean, it's amazing. None. There's no heat, so it doesn't create a burnt edge. It doesn't damage the substrate, the actual material. You know, you can't damage that, so there's no burn. Um, so yes, very cold process, and it also stayed in that shape. And if you can, basically with the multicam technology, if you can draw it, you can, you can cut it. If you can draw it, you can cut it. Fantastic. So we have aluminum, we have our gasket material, now the foam. I wanna see the foam, because to me that's gonna be the craziest thing this thing cuts, because the stuff's so sensitive. So we've seen an aluminum, now the foam, and uh, you told me to grab a wrench, Chris, and I'm trying to figure out what we're actually cutting over here. I think I'm gonna find out in a second, though. Man, that was quick. That's very quick. Very quick. And so I had you grab that wrench because a lot of times in your toolbox, right, you want to have some kind of a, a foam insert. Well, here you go. That can go right in there just like that. Nice. So I'm going to guess, you know, we cut aluminum and then we cut the foam. You don't need to use abrasive when you cut foam, right? You see no, the water? not at all. It's just water only. So you've seen both. Yeah, you have full control over in your workstation. You have full control whether you want to use it or not. Absolutely. Very versatile machine. So when you're cutting something thick or hard, yeah, you're going to use abrasive. When you're cutting something as soft as foam, water only. Where do we find you guys on the web? Multicam.com and kmtwaterjet.com. Fantastic. Great technology. It's going to help you if you're in the cut industry where you need to cut anything. Foam, aluminum, gasket material, steel, it'll do it all. We'll be right back with more Motorhead Garage right after this. Motorhead Garage, presented by Dustless Blasting, coming to you from Borla Commerce Park. Let's present a scenario. You own a classic car that you love, you love driving the thing, you love enjoying it, but it's not, say, a 69 Camaro or a 67 Mustang. It's a little bit more eccentric than that. Maybe you're a little paranoid that you're not gonna be able to find parts, so every opportunity you get, you buy what you can find, those fuel filters and air filters and the small stuff that isn't necessarily grown on trees. Well, it is available at Rock Auto, and I have Tom from Rock Auto. You lived that life, man. You did. I did, yeah. 25 years ago, I had a 67 Lincoln, and it was kind of hard to find the, the filters, air filter, fuel filter. So every time I saw an auto parts store, I'd run in, and if they had it, I'd buy it. And I was kind of hoarding parts and wasting a lot of time. And now I, I, that's a great example of how convenient Rock Auto is. You go in and search for a 67 Lincoln. There's uh, not only do we have fuel filters, we have a choice of three different brands. Available 24-7, start at four bucks. And again, we're talking brands like Hastings, like leading OEM style manufacturer of filters. Um, this is not, you know, stuff that's got some weird label on it. I mean, this is real high quality parts. And you got a 462 inch motor in your 67 uh, Lincoln, you need fuel filters because that thing's thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah, you, you free up a lot of time to enjoy your car, to work on your car if you're not hunting parts all day long. How does Rock Auto do it, I guess, in general terms, to be able to, to, to stock and have available this breadth of parts? Well, we have customers all over the world, so it makes sense for us. We, we don't have to just, uh, we're limited to one geographic region where the cars are still on the road or not still on the road. There's a customer for almost any part somewhere in the world, so that makes it affordable for us to stock it and, and supply every customers everywhere. So whatever you're driving, no matter how old it is, no matter what brand it is, check out rockauto.com, and I'm willing to guarantee that they can fill your needs. There's nothing worse when you're working on a project than having dirty or crummy looking hardware. You know, you want to have nice clean threads when you're securing pieces of an engine down or really anything you're working on. The old way to clean out the threads in your hardware was to use this guy, tired old wire brush. The 
brush gets all weirded out, it gets all kinds of junk in it, you end up brushing your fingers more than you end up brushing the hardware, and it just doesn't work all that great. Enter the great solution to this problem, which is the Thread Wizard. So the Thread Wizard is a great tool. It's a simplified version of that wire brush. It's gonna allow you to clamp this baby in a vise or you can hold it in your hand. And you take your hardware and run it back and forth to clean the junk out of the threads. Now this is available in a standard uh, measurement, also in metric. How do you use it? Very simple. In this case, you're using an air gun. You can use a ratchet or you can even use your hands if you want. We're gonna find the correct slot, run our hardware through, ready? Run our bolt through there, you see all the stuff falling off? One trip back and forth through there, and you can see the area that I cleaned and where I stopped. The thread wizard takes all the junk out of the threads, and you can see where I stopped right there. There's still a bunch of dirt and crud in there. Thread wizard is a super, super easy to use tool. We love the one we have in the shop. Whenever we're working here, we always clean up all our hardware. That way we don't get anything gummed up or ganked up when we're trying to put it back together again. For more information on thread wizard, check out their website. You can learn a lot more about the product and where to get one. We'll be right back with more Motorhead Garage right after this. Garage presented by Dustless Blasting is being brought to you by Borla, the world's most winning exhaust. Freedom 4x4, for a country for freedom. AP Laser, leading the way. And by Dustless Blasting, it's the future of surface preparation. Welcome back to Motorhead Garage presented by Dustless Blasting. You know, it was Benjamin Franklin that once said, Boost is proof that God loves us and wants us to be happy. And Chris, in the Supercharger store, you're delivering boost to people no matter kind of what their application is, man. That's right. We work on the specifically the classics. We've got all the modern stuff that you might want, but we really target the classic market. Now, what we have here is an example of kind of the breadth and depth of the product line you offer. Now, this is a kit that we would be normally installing on a small block Mopar engine. But that, that's like correct. you said, you get stuff for big and small block Chevrolets, Fords, you name it. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about what we're looking at in terms of the, the, the parts and components we have on the table. This is a Pro Charger D1SC. Application-wise, this blower is going to be good for the street, right? Um, yeah, so there's two blowers that are great for the street. There's the P1SC and then the slight step up to the D1SC. Uh, they've also brought out the P1X and the D1X. Excellent blowers for the street applications. You know, and, and it all kind of starts here, right? This is, this is what's going to make us our boost, but the reality is you need to have an entire system to make this whole deal work right. And it really starts with bracketry. And this thing, man, this is like bomb-proof stuff right here. Yeah, well, you know, you're, you're putting a lot of torque and load on the front of it, and so you want something that's not gonna deflect, and it's gonna be rock solid and guaranteed to work. Yeah, no, it's beautiful. You get a nice idle run here and everything else. Now, as we continue to work our way kind of across the table, we talk about you need to have a new crank pulley on here, obviously, to drive the blower, and you're supplying all these parts. We're supplying everything in a kit, um, so that would be a new crank pulley and adapter in certain cases, we have to put in water pumps so that we know the installation is perfect and consistent. What I like about this water pump too, and it's a very small detail, but if we look on this surface right here, you guys go the extra mile because you get these water pumps in house and in order for the system to work properly, alignment is key. And you actually true these water pumps up to make sure that the alignment is perfect. Yes, so when we bolt that on the engine and replace the water pump, the system is gonna line up, the belts are gonna line up perfectly, all the brackets are gonna fit the way we intend it to be done. My co-host on the show is John Gardner, and he is all air. He is all air and no fuel. But you, in the case to make it boost at horsepower, we need fuel. Carburation and fuel injection, you offer both, and what are the differences here? Well, so we do offer both. Um, so we offer, as part of our kits, uh, custom-built blow-through carburetors. So this carburetor has been modified. Um, actually, it's custom-built by a supplier of ours to s accept boost and to run very consistently and very well over all stages. So then we got other two other th important elements here. We can we can either intercool these systems or we can use water methanol injection. And your water methanol stuff is very cool. We have the tank and kind of a, a, a setup here. So talk to me about that. Well, so we've been doing uh, water injection since 2003. And it, you get two great benefits from the water injection. One, it cools the charge air going through the supercharger. Secondly, it slows the flame down in the chamber, keeping you out of detonation. These water injection systems are really designed for the guy who doesn't want to cut up his classic sure. car. Yeah, if you're gonna put it into cooler and you gotta make space for it. You, you, gotta, you gotta go through the core support, drill some big holes, uh, run tubing everywhere. With these kits, they could literally be taken off at a later point and the car is completely back to stock. 
and options. Power steering down here at the end of our display. You know, if you have a car that does not have power steering currently, let's say you got a small block Mopar e-body or something yeah. that's manual steer, you can actually help these folks upgrade to power steering as well. We can or um, replace their existing power steering. The unit takes up the space where the existing power steering is, so we have an option um, to add power steering to that. In addition, as part of our main supercharging system kit, what we call our street stockers, we include all the fuel level components. So you're gonna get a pump that's properly rated for the supercharger yeah. that you're doing. Uh, the pre and post filters, Fuel fittings, pressure regulators, lines, fittings, lines. Soup to nuts. Uh, pretty much. I mean, I'm not putting, you got to run your own lines in the sure. car. Sure, yeah, you're not but other than the that, house to install the thing, but other than that, yeah. people have all the pieces they That's need. right, absolutely. So Chris, a carburetor or a throttle body injection is only as good as the fuel that's getting to it. What separates a supercharger store as far as fuel systems? Well, so as part of our complete kits, our complete system kits, the stage two, stage three, and stage one street stockers, we provide the, a matched fuel system for that. That's going to be the fuel pump, filters, fuel pressure regulator, the, the fittings that go on to those particular units, and then the installer needs to put in the appropriate hosing. So pretty much everything except you showing up to the guy's house and running the You got it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, it's great, and it's a comprehensive package. So if you're looking at into supercharging your streetcar, you really get a great option here with a supercharger store. You're not going to be left out in the cold trying to piecemeal a kit together. Everything you need from the front of the motor all the way to the fuel tank is included. If you get a great idea or a cool product you'd like to see in the Motorhead Garage Studios, contact Jeff at masterstv.com and maybe you'll be here in the palatial Motorhead Garage shop. We'll see you next week on Motorhead Garage presented by Dustless Plastic. Have a good one.